Hey there everyone, what's up? My name is Jessica. I go by Doll Speaks Digital. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through three different ways. Well, I'm gonna to try to do three different ways to record your podcast in your clubhouse room, right? So if you've been on the clubhouse for any amount of time, you know that there are some powerful, amazing conversations that go on. Some of them you're like, oh, I'm glad that was just one time. Others, you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a recording of that. That was so good. It was amazing. I could listen to it over and over again. Well, today we're going to go through, I'm going to do a little bit of a mark. Well, oh, this one isn't a marketing experiment. Let's call this one, uh, I think this may work experiment. How can you record your, your clubhouse? How can you record your podcast in Clubhouse or vice versa? How can you record a podcast while on Clubhouse? We're going to be taking a look at it. So let's go ahead and dive in. And here we go. All right, so here we are. We are utilizing the Zoom platform. Zoom is gonna be the first one up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect my phone to my computer. And just make sure it's connected, it is connected. And then I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So we're gonna go into um, Zoom and let me just turn on so you guys can see here. Let me just... All right. So we're going to give Loom the entire screen. So Loom is going to record for us. You guys can't see that part, but I'll go ahead and show you all uh, Zoom here in just a second. So we have Loom going. Don't need that screen. I'm an ultimate tabber. So yeah, uh, beforehand, just know that you're going to see a lot of tabs open. All right. So we now have our Zoom up. And what we're going to do here is, first of all, why am I looking cloudy? We're gonna go here. We're gonna click on share screen, click on i, click on iPhone, click on share. Now we're inside of Zoom and the first thing you're gonna notice is that Zoom is gonna say, okay, cool. You wanna connect your iPhone and you do need to have your cord connected. So I have my cord connected to my computer. I have my phone here. I'm already on the Clubhouse app. I'm gonna have, have everything connected. I'm going to go ahead and swipe down. I'm going to go to screen record and it tells you step by step what you need to do here. So you see those steps on the screen. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Zoom for iMac. And now I'm sharing my phone with the uh, Zoom. So from there, you can go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start the room. I'm doing the room underneath my club. And don't worry because I ain't nobody in my club because I really haven't been inviting people to it. So, eh. <laughs> but I invite you, so please join because I am going to get more active in my club. All right, so all that to say, that was too much, that was probably TMI, too much information about my life, but you know, anyway, like my friend Jada says, don't judge my life. Y'all can go check her out anyway. All right, so set topic. We have it ready to go. And now, uh, so I have my club selected. So this is my club icon. If you want to join the club, you just go to Clubhouse, get digital mastermind. That is it, because I like to mastermind with all of you folks. And we do have a weekly, um, a weekly Clubhouse room that we do every Sunday. So Sundays, we have a digital marketing dinner. Make sure you come because it is lit. All right. So let's go. Once again, I put the little red icon there. And as soon as you get in the room, you're going to see that it says share recordings without the speaker's permission is against the clubhouse rules, yada, yada, yada. Well, guess what? There ain't no speakers in here, so I don't have to worry. And in previous rooms that we've had, it's only been myself and Kathy's showing up. So Kathy, I'm recording and showing people how to record a clubhouse podcast. <laughs> Yeah, and Kathy is the only person in my club because I have not been promoting it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Kathy, if you want to say hello to the people, make sure you follow Kathy. Kathy has an amazing, um, amazing challenge that is going on right now on funnels. So definitely follow Kathy as well. So Kathy, feel free to hang out and listen or not. It's up to you, but that's what I'm doing. So I am going to listen mode while you do your thing. Cool beans. Cool beans. And then we can chat for a minute when I get to. Okay. So, <laughs> so I have three ways to record. So this first way is through Zoom. So as you can see, uh, as my face keeps lighting up here, you'll see that I'm talking and Zoom is actually recording this conversation. Zoom is taking this all in. And to be honest with you, I have two different things going on. I have Zoom going and I also have Loom. The next tool that we're going to try is Loom is going to be the second one. So here's the issue with recording on Zoom. All right, first and foremost, uh, it's gonna pick up all your background noise. So like my husband walking in, him slamming the door, all that stuff, it picked up all of that. 
So that's something that you just need to be aware of. If you are in a space where it's really quiet around you, you don't have to worry about that. I got kids, they are loud. I got family members running around all the time. That's a problem for me. So Zoom, I just take what I can get from it and then I use my recordings and I move on with my life. So that is an option. The other way that Zoom can also help you is that right now you're seeing my face, you're seeing me talk to you. So I can do a screen share and you also get to see me talking but then I also get to record the conversation. So Kathy and I have had conversations about recording ourselves as we go. So this may be something that we'll dual, right? So you know what, Kathy, now I'm thinking about it, you know what would be super dope for us? We could actually live stream our clubhouse out with just us talking, right? No one else in the room, or we can keep this recording. And then we can live stream on Facebook or in a Facebook group utilizing Zoom. Wouldn't that be dope, right? That would be super. Yeah, we should, we, we're going to do it. We're going to be the first ones to do it. So anyway, let, we'll, we'll schedule that after I finish recording. Uh, <laughs> but that's another, you know, this is how my brain works. I just kind of come up with these things in the moment. But I could totally take my Zoom recording that I have right now and link it up to Facebook or even YouTube. And I can live stream the conversation here in Clubhouse. And Kathy and I could be on screen having a conversation. Uh, we could also do this where it's like a three or a four way where we have our speakers come up in Zoom, but they're also on the Clubhouse app so on and so forth. It'll be interesting to see if we get feedback. I don't think we will. I think it'll be okay uh, that we're speaking directly through the app and then we shouldn't pick up two mics. So we'll have to play around with that to make sure it works. But that's recording. Number one, recording and screen sharing via Zoom. All right, so we have Zoom down. Next, let's try to record on, next we are going to record, what did I say I was gonna try? Oh, Ecamm. So the next tool that we're gonna try, I'm gonna go ahead and close down Zoom, or actually I'll keep Zoom open and I'll open up Ecamm. Or no, you know what, yeah, no, I'm gonna switch to move my camera. So next we're gonna try to record on Ecamm. So give me two seconds, we're gonna hop on over to Ecamm, so. All right, guys, now we're moving into number two, the second way, number two. The second way that you can record your, uh, clubhouse room or record your clubhouse podcast however you want to say it right the second way that you can record is by utilizing ecamm so as you can see i have ecamm open and when you go into ecamm for some reason it's cutting off the top end but you know i'll play around with that later but it is actually oh i might want to push record once i hit the record button it'll start recording and then kathy and i can have a conversation so kathy can you just say hello to the people And there is Kathy, right? So you can actually use Ecamm and just do a share screen with Ecamm and connect your phone with Ecamm. So basically Zoom, Ecamm, you're doing it the same way. You're just connecting your phone, your um, your actual phone cord. That means your actual, actual cord to your phone, connecting it into your computer and then sharing your uh, screen on that platform. So both of those two seem to work really great. It'll be interesting to hear the audio back to see what the audio sounds like, but we'll do that next. So the third way that you can record does not require that you have any external um, software. I'll say as far as like desktop, any of those things, right? You can actually just do it through your phone. So the third way that you can record is by utilizing Loom. So I'm gonna disconnect my phone from my computer. I'm gonna go into Loom. Go to your phone, you're gonna go into your phone, you're gonna, you're gonna download the Loom app, of course, beforehand. Find, let me find my Loom. And then you're going to choose the option to screen record. You're gonna screen record Loom. You're gonna start broadcast. Make sure your microphone is on. You're gonna record your screen and you're gonna go into the app on Clubhouse and then it'll start recording your actual Clubhouse room. That is, those are the three ways that I have. I know Kathy has some some hacks uh, or a, a tool that she uses to record. Uh, Kathy, do you wanna share that, the, the tool that you use? To record my screen? Yeah. Yeah, for, uh, your Clubhouse rooms. app called um um it's just called mp3 recorder okay okay 
All right, so and... now we're gonna hop into the fourth tool, which is the tool that Kathy mentioned to us, which is called, hold on, let me find it, voice record. All right, so Next we're gonna go thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the app, we're gonna go to voice recorder, we're gonna hit record, we're gonna allow, and there we go. So now it should be recording our audio. We're now gonna just go ahead and go back to the Clubhouse app. And now we are recording our audio, close that out. Now we're recording our audio with the fourth app that Kathy recommended to us. So I'm gonna just record a little bit here. Yeah, take a look at it. Make sure you join our Get Digital Mastermind Club. And how you know it's a club is that you'll see the little clubhouse at the top there. You'll just click on that and then you can join our club there. Uh, yada, 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 so on and so forth. My name is Joel Speaks Digital Peace, right? So <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave the room and end the room. And we're gonna go back to our app. So we have our app here and our app has been recording. We're gonna go ahead and stop the recording. We're gonna let it process. So then it's gonna tell you, okay, where do you want it saved to? We're gonna save it to Dropbox. We're gonna click on save. And now we have our recording. We're gonna upload. So now we click on upload. We're gonna upload the file. And then the MP3, since I didn't rename it, it's just gonna be named as that. It says, okay, it's been uploaded to Dropbox. We're gonna go ahead and go into Dropbox and find that recording. Y'all, I'm old, give me a minute. the text okay so it does the oh what's great is that it does the transcription as well as the audio thank you kathy thank you resource rita all right so now let's go ahead and listen to it it works all right let's see all right there it is here we go so now it should be recording our audio we're now going to just go ahead and all right go back. so there we go that is four different ways. I said there were three. I gave you a bonus, which makes it one, two, three, and four different ways that you can record your Clubhouse audio and your Clubhouse podcast, whatever you decide to call it, you can record it. All right, so that is it for me today. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I wanna know which tool you are going to use. So make sure you comment down below this video and let me know which one of these tools you'll be using to record your podcast on Clubhouse. We'll also go ahead and do another uh, video where we'll go through and we'll actually walk you through what the audio actually sounds like so you can get some of that as well my name is jessica i go by joss speaks digital wish you wellness in life and in business peace mm. you know what i just noticed that on the new zoom the new upgraded zoom it's weird so the old zoom looks like it works the same way like you can just share your phone screen, but the new updated like Zoom, whatever platform is just a little bit weirder. It doesn't do it in the same way. So if you have the old Zoom, use the old Zoom or go into the actual Zoom um, app and start it from there because yeah, that's weird. I don't like that. I don't like the new Zoom. The new Zoom seems to block you from doing it. So I have the old version of Zoom and this is the one that opens up when you first come to it and it looks like this. Uh, so if you have this version, try to use this version versus the newer version of Zoom. If you don't have the old version, I don't know what to tell you because it looks like you don't have that option. <laughs> um, but just being totally transparent and open with you, I don't know what you're gonna do with your life because it looks like that option is not available on the uh, newer version. Button. And as you can see, you'll see it go around in a circle. You're going to go ahead and record your video.